Everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap, Tuesday, January 19th, first trading day of the week. Obviously, yesterday was MLK Day, so markets were closed. Uh, so welcome back. Uh, no losers today. So starting off the week hot, plus $1,507 in profit. And uh, like I said, no losers. So we had two mighty 90 trades, one in Netflix for $238, one in Shopify for basically a scratch for $30. Uh, no pairs trades. And then on the runners, we were 4 0. We had a winner in DKNG for 172, MU for 519, Twitter 320, and Win 228. So we stayed really small today as well. Uh, usually on the, the kind of the first day of the week, I like to ease into it. Don't, you know, don't get my position size too big, especially on a, a long weekend, you know, just trying to get the get back into the flow of the markets. And so I stayed super small. Uh, aside from Shopify, which is just a big stock, so the options are, are priced higher. Uh, aside from that one, I mean, we were, I mean, I was getting in some trades with like $1,000 in buying power up to just a few thousand. So keeping my size really small, still over, still able to book over $1,500 in profits. So let's go over these, starting with Netflix, our first Mighty 90 trade. Uh, so if you take a look at Netflix, had this big push down and we got long right here on this volume spike, uh, pushed against this a little bit and then fired up and we got out uh, for a nice profit of 238. In Shopify, this is one we don't trade a lot because the options are a little bit thin, uh, a little bit wide bid ask spreads, but had this, had this flush lower. We actually, I thought we were gonna get a bounce off this unchanged mark. Obviously that, that didn't happen. So this is where we started uh, getting long. It pushed against us. We, we scaled in with a little bit more right here. And then after this bounce up, we just, we just got out and basically scratched the trade. Uh, net net plus 30 on that one. Uh, going over to the runners, starting with DKNG. This was a beauty. Uh, so DKNG had this initial flush lower on these after the first five minutes, I mean, they're just massive, massive spikes. So we we're just looking for a little bounce, looking for a little bounce to get short, got short right here and just rode this thing down. Got out of most of it right here. I was super small. I was actually anticipating it might bounce a little bit more. So I was going to scale in with more size, but it rolled over and we took most of it off here. And then on this flush lower, I, was, I wasn't quick enough. It already had bounced a little bit, but took the rest of it off right there. Uh, MU. Uh, kind of the opposite thing had this uh, it was really strong all day had this massive spike here and on this pullback we got long and really just rode this thing up to the pivot and got out for a plus 519 you know when it started to pull back i didn't want to sit through a big drawdown a big pullback and so we just we closed it all out up near this pivot uh but i was anticipating that this might happen it just barely pulled back for a couple bars and then fired back up again so a lot left on the table there, but hey, you know what? Still booked 515, 519, so can't complain. Uh, in Twitter, uh, this one was called out in the room by somebody, and uh, this is a situation where uh, big, big, two big volume bars to start the day. So we were looking for a little pullback, only you know, just kind of chopped around. So we finally we got short right in this area, and then just caught this flush down. I held on to one contract, seeing if we might push down to this pivot. And when it bounced up uh, into this area here, I believe, uh, or maybe it was here. Anyway, I cut loose the last one. So gave a little bit back, but just with one. So still booked 320 on our Twitter trade. And then lastly, win. Uh, pretty similar situation. A big flush down, had this big volume spike, got short on this bounce, and rode it all the way down here and closed out. Uh, closed out the trade for two, plus 228. Again, you, you know, with these trades, you don't, you don't have to trade a lot of size. You can have a pretty small account, pretty small trade size, and we still booked over 1500 bucks today. So good day. Way to start the week. If you guys have any questions, let me know. We will be streaming live in our uh, trade room the rest of this week. Cheers.